We're back. Next subject. Rev, open it up. Well, I'm delighted because obviously the Republican brand, as I said earlier, has severe, been severely damaged. I mean, when you have candidates talking about the body shuts down, uh, the female's body shuts down uh, if it's a legitimate rape, which I still haven't figured out what, what he's talking it? about. It seems to me, first of all, from what I understand from doctors, that's really rare. If it's a legitimate rape, uh, the female body has ways to try to shut that whole thing down. But my, my point is, then when you have, even in the wake of this thrashing that the Republican Party uh, received, uh, their ideological godfathers, Rush Limbaugh and others, saying that we need, our problem was our candidate wasn't conservative enough. It shows me that clearly they're tone deaf. I can intellectually believe that were outnumbered by the people that voted for Obama. They clearly don't understand that America's browner, it's younger, it's more diverse uh, than the America that they longed for. Romney was a great candidate for the 1950s, but when you talk about a modern America, so the Republicans, in my judgment, are in trouble. Uh, they are held hostage to this far right wing in that party. They and, were. And, 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 they are, and they are still today. Because you, you would think after a thrashing like that, the conversation in the party would be, we need to become more inclusive. And whenever people in the Republican Party have said that in the wake of the last uh, week's election, then the conservatives in the party have doubled down on saying, the reason why we didn't win is that we were not conservative but, enough. But, 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 so but, I think we have one week. They're in trouble. We got to wait for a mutiny on they're the ship because it's coming. Because already they realized what they did not, uh, they underestimated was there were 50,000 17 year old Hispanics that turned right. 18 right. every month. Right. So now their new agenda is where we have to court the Hispanic vote. Right. Right. So now they're realizing they ain't popping up Marco Rubio and everything right. else. They realize they have to do something. And that conservative movement right. stuff did not work, and it hasn't worked for you. Well, Marco well, Rubio is a shot candidate. Shot. Mm -hmm. He would not last on a national level. He no, is, I don't he's, agree. He's uh, been involved with, um, his mortgage has been foreclosed on. He's, okay. uh, he's in heavily in debt. He is a Floyd candidate in the sense of he's going to promote fiscal conservativeness, and his personal lifestyle does not reflect, reflect that. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's a Floyd candidate, yeah. and he would have been destroyed had he mm -hmm. got on a national level. Um, in any other place, he would not. He's not going to do well in any other place but Florida. He's mm -hmm. not going to mm -hmm. gain you any. Gain you any. And votes. that's largely because of Cuban. Cuban yeah, and, he's, yeah. He, and the only time the Republicans only go after are just basic Cuban Cuban Americans. I don't know why they differentiate mm -hmm. all the other Hispanic or Latino people, uh, or, or Latina people, or Latino people, but. They only caught Cuban Americans, and that's really well, weird the, to me. I don't understand. But that. the irony of it is that the Republicans under Bush got forty percent of well, the Latino. Well, Bush spoke and, but, fluid but, Spanish, right. and he, as a he, Texas not, governor, not Texas, Bloomberg Spanish, right? As a Texas governor, <laughs> right? He's much, much Spanish. Not Bloomberg, Bloomberg Spanish. But as a as a Texas governor, he understood and had a uh, you know a, 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 a good relationship with many Latinos in Texas, uh, well, at least from the political standpoint. Uh, I mean, when you get 40% of the Lat Latino vote, that's that's significant. Because uh, remember, we have to keep in mind, the electorate already starts out essentially split in half. I mean, yes. you, you basically have a country that's almost perfectly divided. So the elections are, are won right in here. And so while many in the uh, Republican Party are saying we could never get to 60 and 70 percent numbers in the Latino community. They don't need to. If they can get to 40, if they can get to 45, and, and I'm telling you, even after Obama, see, one of the things that I, I think we've continued to make a mistake, and that's why nobody's talking about blacks mm -hmm. in all of this, the, 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 the fallout from the election. Nobody's talking about the black folk. And we do. We no, we no, 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 because we me. spoke about this downstairs. I mean, people, was, people basically know we went 95 percent for Obama. But we went 95 percent. And we do that for every Democrat. So that's to answer your question. We we do that for every Democrat. Did you talk about that the people says right. that we only blacks only vote for Obama right. because no. Obama's a black no. man. We do that no, for we every vote Democrat. For every Democrat. Right. That, the that, same way. Yes. And so I'm saying 
in when Obama leaves office, who knows who will become a Democratic uh, a nominee? Maybe Biden, maybe Hillary Clinton. But for the future, I have always said we need a 70-30 strategy. 70% of the, the vote Republican Party? for the Democrats, 30% mm -hmm. to the Republican Party. Richard Nixon in 1960 when he faced uh, John F. Kennedy, he got 30% of the black vote. Barry Goldwater ran in 64. Uh, he was considered far right wing. He only got 5% of the black vote. It's just in our interest. The mm -hmm. reason why the Latinos, the Hispanic vote is being talked about that, right? is because it's up for grabs. It's up for grabs. You have a tremendous grabs. amount of African Americans who, who relate to a lot of the, the, the philosophies of Republicans, conservative Republicans. But here's they, don't, the they don't get 30% of the black vote. Here's the question. Vote. I'm just saying, though, it, it, here's the problem. If they talk to you, if Mitt Romney had a black agenda to say, this is what I'll do for you, this is what I'm willing to do, guess what? It would have changed the whole dynamics of the race that would have required Obama to say what he had to, what he intends to do for people of color. Instead, what they'll say is, well, we're going to court the Hispanic vote, and we're going to tell them what they will do for them. Right. So because, that, vote, because that because that vote is up for grabs, it's up for grabs. Grab. But it's, it's, people, sure it the, the thing that's going to sure stop that forty percent for George Bush, the that's thing a that's significant always be up for grabs is immigration, and the Republicans just are not going. Here's the difference: oh, immigration I, I, I was not I that big of an issue for twelve years. Wait, wait, wait. wait but twelve years ago, was immigration a big issue? It absolutely was. No, but Al Gore. Did not have a. I uh, said twelve years ago. Yeah, that's when Al Gore was uh, when okay. they ran against Bush. But okay, and Al Gore. but you didn't have the numbers <laughs> they there Al Gore that never we have had now. No, the twelve million. What I'm saying is, there was a point in our community when you spoke about immigration. That was the Jamaicans and the, right. the West, West Indian community. Is, right. Yeah, that was more right. of a of an issue for immigration. It became, let's say, maybe twelve years now. Immigration has eased up to a Latino issue more than anything else. Do Can we agree to that? Well, I, I agree with you, and I think, uh, again, the reason why the Latino vote is, is being examined so carefully in the aftermath of the election is that it's a vote that both parties, number one, understand they need for the future, uh, and number two, the Latinos have demonstrated uh, in the past a, a willingness to vote for both parties. Because, again, 40% of the Latino vote is significant. African Americans, what has happened to us since the 1960s, is that we are so solidly in the Democratic column. Uh, the Democrats take us for granted because they say, well, we know we have that vote. Mm -hmm. And the Republicans have essentially given up on that vote because they say, we can never get it. And what I'm saying is the way the Republican Party is currently constituted, blacks aren't crazy. That's why they don't get it. But it's going to be easy for Republicans to look at their immigration policy and do more get, to court that Latino vote. Get back They're going to the do question. it. Get They're going to do the it because they know they have to. What is the agenda for black America moving forward? So I, that, the idea that as black Americans that we are supposed to get more or less because you have a black president. No, that's we, no, not, no, 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 that's not the question. Not the we, 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 it's not about Obama. It's not about a black president. It's when you have terrible, black, black agenda should be, we have terrible local representatives. You got city council representatives. Okay, but, but, but that, if, we, if, we, if we say that on a New York level, on a national oh, no, level. No, on a national level. So, so everybody, everybody in the state of the U.S. Is of color is just terrible. They've been there for 67 years. How, who do you know? Who, what profession? Give me what profession do? You, wait, see, give, you don't want you 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 only you, you're disregarding what I'm saying because. But you can be. You, I'm you, not you, you're you're generalizing. Because I went, oh, I'm not generalizing. But you're. I, I'm saying on a you're, national you're, level, you're saying all elected officials on a national city council, state assembly, a senate are all terrible. That, name four. Well, I said national. That you feel national. good about. National. You feel good about Hakeem Jeffries. National, you not, about not West? New York State. <laughs> Let's Let's feel say this. You feel good about Regardless you feel good about John um, John Smith, who's the guy from Atlanta. But I, I think you feel good about Barbara Barbara um, Barbara Boxer. I, I, you feel I, good I, about I, I, you feel good about um, uh, who's my rep? Event Clark. Okay, Are you but, 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 but here's here's the point. Because <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I want him to answer this. Give me someone in the national level you feel good about. But let me just say this, because this is, this is I think, more important. It speaks to your question. Uh -huh. Okay, um, when you talk about a black agenda, regardless to who our local, statewide, uh, uh, 
city or federal officials are, we still have to have an African American agenda. Without have, a doubt. And, and, and I think that's the no. challenge for us. Yeah. That, that, in other words, for, for many uh, American Jews, Israel is a very important political oh issue. My God. Uh, for gays, marriage equality or gay Thank marriage, you. however, from whatever standpoint, was a very important issue. Latinos, immigration right now, immigration please? is an issue that they deemed as ridiculous. a very important issue. So as an African-American community, we're bigger than all of those groups. And that Latino together. community is bigger than immigration, of course, the ones well, that you're not really talking about. Well, and, and, and I think that's where the challenge mm -hmm. becomes, coming up with what, what can be considered a cohesive African-American exactly. agenda. Yo, but we must have your, one. We must have both one. Both of your that's your philosophies. No, this is no. The both of your philosophies are actually detrimental to African-Americans. Why? As a whole. Why is it because detrimental? You, because when you say an African-American agenda, you, you exclude or you create this exclusion. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you're not looking at, I'm looking at this from, I want my tax breaks. Mm -hmm. I don't want my mortgage interest to be taken away. I don't want, I don't but want. But those my, things are not mutually be, exclusive. They, in other words, they are in other words, really, in other words, a Latino can be concerned about immigration, but also can be concerned about those things as well. Exactly. In other words, what Give do we. Give me five issues that African Americans should be thinking well, about. Well, number one, we should be thinking about education without a doubt and, 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 so that's so that's okay. exclusive no 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 okay. no, no but it's, it's not, not but, you, but, but, but that should be a part of it we're going to take a okay. break and we're coming right back on this subject right. we'll be right back